what is on the very, very top. However, I have to interrupt my uh, speech uh, for some other time to continue, because right now we have in our studio Grand Master from Germany, Alexander Donchenko. Hello. Welcome, Alexander, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. I, ho I hope everyone can hear me. Very yes. loud and clear. Very yeah. loud and clear. You know, it's, you. The first time, where you're at. it's first time ever that we have a grandmaster in our studio. And uh, we just discussed before you uh, came, came out here uh, that in the world, believe it or not, there are more uh, grand, uh, more uh, billionaires than grandmasters. Yeah. <laughs> it's You're very like rare. You're very <laughs> rare indeed. Share with us a little bit about your, I know the whole world in chess knows who you are. And um, I wish Nick, I'm going to try to get Nick on because I know that he would just go goo goo over there because he, Nick, chess is everything to Nick in many, many ways. Um, I came into the chess family by accident because I started doing a TV show with somebody who is a magnificent chess player. But how did you get into it? You're very young, first off. Um, okay, I'm 22 years old, and um, uh, basically, it's uh, it runs in my family since um, I have been uh, I've been playing chess since in tournaments since I was eight years old, wow. and um, okay, my father is he's an international master, so also quite a strong player, and um, all of my family members play chess to a certain degree, so. I came into contact with, with chess from a very early age and uh, basically had no choice other than to learn the rules. Okay, I didn't have to pursue it as a career, but uh, I chose to, and I think it was a reasonably good choice. Oh, uh, bravo. Yeah. How do you make chess a career? Um, well, it, uh, there are actually a few ways to, uh, to make this happen. Um, the most comfortable one, or let's say, the, the best one, if you can make it, is to become a full-time playing professional. So you you choose your tournaments, you play there, and you uh, you receive appearance fees and, uh, and and prize money depending on your results. And uh, if you're quite good and play strong tournaments, this is enough to earn a decent living. Mm, um, the, the, the problem with this is there are maybe only about 100 players uh, in the world who can manage this. So... Um, for everyone else, uh, they have to resort to other activities like uh, coaching, streaming, writing books, uh, a lot of activities that are connected to chess, but not exactly um, playing itself. And um, well, some people in just simply enjoy them more, but I would like to make it as a playing professional, so to speak. Wonderful. Wow. Who was your uh, strongest opponent you ever played? Well, I guess that's hands down Magnus Carlsen, because uh, really? <laughs> there, there is not much competition there, unless you count, uh, unless you count an engine. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, please, what is your uh, favorite book that you're reading now, or the last few months? Uh, my, f uh, my favorite, you mean chess book or a book, no, for, book from literature? Any book, any book. Um, the, my favorite, uh, I suppose... From liter normal literature, my favorite book is, I actually d d uh, don't know the Eng English translation. Um, it's uh, In French, it's uh, Les, uh, Les Miserables by, by Victor Hugo. I don't, oh, uh, my God. Oh, what a choice. This is my favorite book and movie and uh, musical and just anything. I didn't actually uh, see anything beside the book, which, uh, but uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what it's called in English. I, I read it in German, which, which which was hard enough, actually, because uh, mm -hmm. even in German, there were many words I had to look up, which was quite surprising. Mm -hmm. But uh, I really enjoyed that one. Do you remember the stuff when he writes about the Battle uh, uh, of Waterloo? Uh, yes, I do. What a, what a writing. Do you agree that uh, Leo Tolstoy... Uh, was following uh, Victor Hugo and uh, actually developed that genre of uh, historical drama. I think this. this is, piece, I, uh, you know? I think I'm not qualified to answer this question. My father would probably be. He's a he's a very avid reader, but uh, I'm I'm sorry. I I just uh, I'm just very afraid of saying something stupid here. So I'll. Excuse me. Uh, what is your f first name of your father? Uh, Anatoly. Anatoly. I, I, I think I know who he is. Uh, uh, okay, I'll later tell you. Tell me, please, um, what is your uh, favorite music that you would like to listen to? 
Uh, that is not so easy to say because um, it really depends on the mood uh, and the mood that I'm in. Uh, or, or uh, First of all, until I was about 17 or 18, I basically did not listen to music. So, uh, except when something's on the radio or something, but it's not like I decided now I will listen to music for a little bit and see what I like. Uh, that uh, became the case only later. And okay, initially I think I uh, I like uh, a few uh, rock songs uh, very much because um, I think just be I listened to some of them as a kid because they were they were playing in the car when I, when we were traveling somewhere. But um, in fact, recently I'm I'm also like tiptoeing into classical music just uh, just to listen to something different. But um, I think that I'm actually uh, enjoying a lot of d different m musical styles uh, because maybe because I'm qu uh, not v very well versed in them. I just uh, if it if it sounds good and I can and I can picture something to it, then uh, it's it's good enough for me. So um, I'm not a musician, so I w I wouldn't really be able to tell you uh, the, uh, the difference between between uh, one piece and another in technical terms. Oh sure, and now you are ready to listen to music of Les Misérables. Uh, whether it's musical or you can see, you can uh, watch the movie Les Miserables, and uh, there is fantastic music. It's one of the best music ever written for a Broadway show. You will mm -hmm. definitely enjoy it. How about what's your favorite food or dish that you would like to eat? For, uh, okay, uh, 